In this tutorial, going over the Automotive Engineering Badge, we will be showing you how to make a fully functioning balloon dragster. So things that you will need to build the dragster will be just random household items that you can find. For example, I will be using uh, coffee stirrers, flexible straws, some rubber bands, some tape, and then lids off of Play-Doh. Now what you could use would be uh, some lids off of any bottles or cans that you could find. At this point, you should have learned about some of the simple machines involved in building this. So one of the simple machines that we use a lot is the wheel and axle. Right here is the wheel, and here is the axle. This basically is what makes the car go wherever we want it to. So one of the safety features we use on our vehicle is the safety harness. This is what we use to protect our driver whenever they are operating the vehicle. Another feature we have is the main roller. So, what, so basically, if the car were to get in the event of a rollover, its main goal is to protect the driver from getting squashed by the vehicle. So now, I will be designing a prototype based off of this model. Now, when you, do, when you make this prototype, make sure that you use parental supervision so you don't hurt yourself. So what I'm doing right now is I'm making the wheels. So what's going to happen is I'm going to use the coffee stirrers to be what I run through the wheels and that'll eventually go through the straw which will allow this to act as a axle and so there's no friction with the ch with the body like so so this is the body that I will be using And there you have it, a fully working prototype, complete with balloon for propulsion. So as you can see, my model is very similar to the Play-Doh model that has been made. And now it is time to test the vehicle. For the straight line test is I will just tape down a line and see how far the car deflects from that line. So the most important thing to think now, test and revise your vehicle prototype. So once engineers build a prototype, they need to test it. Simple as that. So, for example, once you test your vehicle, you need to find and figure out what exact problems there are with the vehicle. It's still not going in a straight line, so just keep revising it until you think you've made the best version of your vehicle. Uh oh. <laughs> After another test, I noticed that the balloon was dragging on the ground, and I think that might be the cause for my car to not go in a straight line. So now what I have to do is somehow make sure the balloon does not drag on the ground. As you can see, that was a lot better than the other two tests. I call that a success in my books. Now the test that I did was simply to see how well the car could perform going on a straight line. But depending on what you picked, maybe you picked to see how far you, your car could go. So that's another reason you could design for it. And if you wanted to, maybe you could challenge your friends and family to a friendly competition to see who could build the best car. Thank you for watching.